The Niagara Foundation recognizes organizations and individuals for their community service, educational, and professional efforts in the Midwest. It is the first time the Peace and Dialogue Award ceremony took place in Michigan. On behalf of the Niagara Foundation in Michigan, I would like to welcome you to the Niagara Peace and Dialogue Awards 2011. The event at the Westin Hotel in Detroit kicked off with the reading of a letter from the Niagara Foundation's honorary chair, Fethula Gulen. The Detroit Institute of Arts, or DIA, received the Niagara Community Service Award for being a beacon of culture in the Detroit area for well over a century. President and CEO of DIA, Graham Beale, thanked the foundation and called visual arts a multicultural language. It's truly, I think, moving. I think you may have seen some of that ISNIC uh, where that we have on view work quite likely made by Christians um, in Turkey, uh, going all the way across uh, to El Andalus, where you see Christian plates uh, made by Muslims, uh, proof of truly multicultural, tolerant societies. Dr. Janice Brown, executive director of Kalamazoo Promise, received the Niagara Education Award. Brown said the foundation understood the important role young people play in creating the future. Each and every one in Kalamazoo, help those youth be good on the promise and make good and become a successful, highly skilled worker and a good citizen of the great United States. That, my friends, is what the Kalamazoo Promise is all about. It is not Janice Brown. It is making peace and dialogue in one little section of the world. Steve Schramm, director of broadcasting in Michigan Radio, received the Niagara Media Award. And Victor Ghalib Beg, a Muslim community activist, received the Niagara Peace Award. Beg asked the audience to observe a moment of silence and pray for victims of the earthquake in eastern Turkey. I would like to ask you to maintain just a moment of silence in the memory of those who suffered recently from the devastating earthquake in Turkey. Please say a prayer for them. He also highlighted the Niagara Foundation's effort to promote commonalities among people and spoke about Turkey as a perfect example of religious pluralism. People from all walks of life.